Hello, this is Christy. In this video, I'm going to show you a little trick that will help you fix animations that you may group and then they get cut off. I had this a lot of times and I didn't know why it was happening. And let me show you an example of what I mean. I have this animation on my timeline that animates my logo and it creates a bunch of uh, things that are moving all over the place. Now that is all fine and good because I created it on five tracks. But if I group these tracks and for example, I want my animation objects to be grouped together in a neat little group, press Ctrl G after you select everything and that makes a group. That is still fine. Now at this point, your animation, depending on how it's moving on the scene, on the canvas, may actually get cut off. Mine actually doesn't because I have moved it in a, in a place. But look at this. The entire area covered by my objects throughout the animation is marked by this rectangle here that you see. So that means that Camtasia estimates and measures all of the areas that are necessary for that animation to be visible. So what happens is Camtasia creates a little canvas, a virtual canvas, if you want, inside of that group. That's why some effects don't actually work in a group, such as the blur effect. As soon as you group it, it doesn't work anymore. I don't know why. I'm hoping they'll, they're going to fix this. But what I want to show you now is this. If you try and make more complex animations or you combine multiple animated objects into a group, sometimes you may get a problem where it cuts off parts of the objects as they are animating on screen. Let me illustrate this. So I have this group and uh, let's suppose I'm just being ridiculous. I want to rotate this while it's animating all of that, right? So I'm just going to place my playhead here. I'm going to go to animations, use a custom animation and drag it on top of this and just uh, slide it all over to the end and rotate this a couple of times until it's back to the normal placement. So nothing, nothing specific with this, but look what, what happens now. The entire thing is rotating. It's still animating fine. It's all good. But watch what happens now. If I had other objects now and I wanted to make this animation more complex and I wanted to maybe group it again, watch what happens. I group this again and now watch what happens here. You notice when my objects are rotating right here, they get cut off because the second group has just been created to the same dimensions as the previous group. So if you happen to have any objects animating that are outside of the are, are going to be outside of that group, you notice they get cut off and you don't see them anymore. And that actually limits you because maybe you want to have the, you know, objects coming in and out of screen. This is inconvenient. So very quick tip here. This is how you solve this problem. You just go to right click on your final group the final, the big group that you are, um, you know, you have everything in it. So you right click on this group and choose resize group and then to canvas size. Watch what happens now. The group has been extended to fit the canvas size. And now let's see what happens. Let's see my animation. You notice that rectangle now actually is uh, all around my main project canvas. So that is my visible size at all times. Let's play the animation now. It's still rotating. It still goes out of the screen and now it's fine. Obviously stuff that's out of the screen is out of the screen, but at least it doesn't get cut off in the middle of the animation. So if I get to that point here, you notice that now my group has expanded to allow for the full canvas size to be visible. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, feel free to subscribe because I have much more tips and tutorials for Camtasia, video editing, graphics, design, web marketing, and all of these topics I enjoy talking about and teaching about. So see you next time.